Okay, um, what I've done now is uh, did some detailing. I put, I went back and darkened my shadows in all these areas and here. I've darkened the shadows here and put in the details for the clock. Made sure, uh, you know, did some shadowing around here. Basically used dark up against light to um, put in the realism for this uh, clock timer here. I uh, darkened this shadow just a little bit by using my um, angle brush and using some extender and then just went into uh, this area right here for my um, part where most of the paint was deposited and then used my mop to pull it down. The exact same way we first put it in but I just put another layer in to um, emphasize it to make it a little darker um, the way it is here. Now on here it doesn't have this, this specific line but I put this line in so you could see the indentation. Um, you can take um, poetic painting license, artistic license so uh, like we did by putting bread in. So I went here and I darkened these areas as well and I started putting in a shadow back here. These are called turning shadows and I put one here because what it does is it shows that the um, appliance at the edge here is turning away from you. This adds realism and depth. Um, you know it doesn't show it in this picture here but that's because what I did was take out all of the color just so I could find the values. So this part here now is called a turning shadow so that it, it doesn't um, become just a, a drawing but that you start to add realism by pulling the elements away from you. So you show the curve of the appliance and, um, by putting that shadow and I've got one here too and we're going to put in a couple others together. Um, I noticed too, I take a picture of things as I do them in progress and I noticed that my line over here for this bread was just um, going this way and it, it wasn't right, the perspective wasn't right so I erased my line and then I took my um, my color and then just put a curved line here to show the slot on this side and I straighten up my bread line there okay so um, I just want to work through a couple of uh, those turning shadows with you we're going to put in a sit down shadow and we're just about ready to uh, finish with our value part of the painting and go to the color so I'm going to put some extender on. I'm going to do some here and around here. So I'm just going to put some extender on several places where we need to have those turning shadows. And I'm going to load my brush again. Whoops. <laughs> things the same way. I'm still using the same piece of palette paper. So I'm going to put a little more umber out. I'm going to wet my brush, lay it on the towel until the shine goes away, load the toe, and stroke it back and forth and work it into the brush. I think I have a little too much water still, so I'm just going to touch it to this towel again. A little more paint. There we go. Okay. All right. So um, I want to. So this is a little difficult for me to do and show you, and also get the right angle for my left hand. So let's go this way with it. Make sure that I'm in camera. There. Yes. All right. So I'm going to start by placing the toe of the brush on the edge of our toaster and pulling 
go all the way around. Okay, and you can see that that gives us a dark uh, value at the edge and it fades off. If you um, are getting a demarcation line, if you see a, a hard line there, then just come in with your blender mop and soften that out. Okay, I'm going to reload. Okay, and then I'm going to start just about the same place I started before and come up the opposite direction here. It's hard for me to see this. I'm going to stand up so I can see better. And then I'm going to work it all the way around again so that I have a continuous line. And soften any place that I think I need to. Reloading. Alright, so there we're getting our depth for the outside of the toaster. Um, let's see. Let's turn it around. And I'm going to add a little bit too much on my brush there. I'm going to add some extender here. I'm going to kind of stay on the tip of my brush a little bit because I just barely want that turning shadow. And if I get it too wide, just come back with a clean brush, pull some of that out. Okay. Um, we've got it on here pretty well. I don't need it to be very thick, but I think I do need to reinforce this area down here. There we go. And we'll pull it up and come all the way up to this slice of bread. And I'm going to grab a little mop. I've lost it, I think, underneath here somewhere. I've lost it. Lost my mop. Well, I'll get another one. Lots of mops. Okay. Now I'm also going to just put a little bit of a line here. Sometimes you got to make sure you got enough paint on your brush. Don't want a whole lot of paint on your brush, but sometimes all you're doing is moving an extender. Now I got too much paint on my brush now for that, but I'll just take my mop and soften it. Just I'm setting my mop right up to the edge and just pulling some of that color out from that line. So I've still got my line, I've still got my separation, but not as darkly as before. So I'm going to emphasize that. I'm um, going to come, oops, I got something there. I'm going to come down here, put some here. have just a little too much extender there because I'm just kind of pushing paint around I think. Alright. Let's do it here. Okay. Just 
come back in here get that a little better there we go alright in that a little all right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back up here to the bread crust and I'm going to strengthen these shadows and I'm doing it on the crust part not on the meat of the bread part Just be right up on the tip of the toe of the brush for these small areas. And what you might have to do is come out of the line here a little bit and then come back to your wet brush, your clean wet, wet brush, and clean it up. go to the inside right there all right I'm gonna let that dry before I try to do the back side a little extender on each time that I go in to reload I'm only loading just on the very tip and then I'm stroking it through just the same, it's the same load every time. And then be careful not to get too much extender, but we do need it because we do need the paint to move. with this line I'm a little trouble down here I think I have too much extender on so I'm gonna lay it in there darkly and then take my mop well, first of all, I'll take my clean brush and clean it up right there. All you need on this brush is water, not extender. Now I'm going to soften it with my mop. Get too much paint on your mop, which happens often. Dry wipe it off on a piece of towel. Don't put it in your water because then it'll be useless as a mop. Don't wet it until you're ready to clean it and be finished with it. Okay. I'm going to put, I'm going to reinforce this shadow right here. That's another turning shadow. Clean it up. Okay. come back in here and do the back of this slice of bread reinforce the turning shadow there and if you notice the darkness here makes the lightness of this bread stand out here and my extender here has dried so 
so having a hard time getting the paint to move right there in that area so I'm going to go up on my chisel edge to get that in and then I'm going to come back here and do the back of the bread and reinforce that shadow brush is getting a little dry on the clean edge so I'll just tap it in water a little bit really just right up on my chisel edge here okay, and I can use some mopping here Alright, those are reinforced now pretty well. So now what I'm going to do is go to the sit down shadow. Now I'm going to have to turn this around because <laughs> I'm not able to do it pointing towards you. I hope that that's not going to be a big problem. Okay, I'm going to pull the camera down onto the canvas so that. Uh, get a little better close up. Let me check that. Okay. Alright. That should work. Now sit down shadow is what shows you that this toaster is not just floating in the air. And we, we're not going to um, establish a table or a countertop. We're just going to establish a sit down shadow that gives a suggestion that it is, it is sitting on something. I'm going to spread extender underneath. My toaster is faced this way. My light areas are coming through here. So I'm going to have the sit down shadow go this way. I'm going to use my largest angle brush I'm going to load it in the same way just the tip and then stroke it to work it into my brush and then I'm going to come right up against the edge soften more paint on my brush. Come right around here. And I'm going to stop where the part that would be sitting on a table stops. It's amazing what a difference that tiny little line makes. And we're going to just extend it a little bit right here. All right. Now normally uh, you would put some cast shadows and with you know three values each, but I'm not going to depict it sitting down. This is going to be the toaster only, so I'm only adding the sit down shadows. Okay, so I think we've pretty much done what we can do. Um, 
might want to let me bring this camera back up again. Um, I think I would like to take a little bit of a stippler brush, maybe uh, something hard like a stencil brush, and put a little bit of grain value into the, this bread. Just a little bit of texture. Just scrub it a little bit. I just put a tiny little bit of um, umber on there for my puddle here. Just put a little bit of texture for the bread. And that's it. And we are ready to dry it. And then what I want you to do after it dries, I want you to erase all of your pattern lines that you can still see. Okay, and then I'll join you back when it's time to do the color.